The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, labeled it as historic transparency to ensure residents, families, and the general public have information about COVID-19 in nursing homes. Is this really historic transparency yet? No, I, I don't think so. Nursing homes are now required to report their residents and staff cases and deaths to the CDC for those in the facility or in the hospital. On Thursday, CMS released numbers from those that sent in the numbers, covering 88% of nursing homes in the U.S. But our analysis of that historic data finds it's flawed. In many cases, it's woefully inaccurate. According to the CMS data, a nursing home in New Jersey, Delridge Health and Rehabilitation Center, had the most COVID-19 deaths, 753. But that seems to be impossible. The nursing home only has 96 beds. Stunning. I mean, it's stunning, shocking, uh, and it just looks like that it needs to be cleared up. I mean, CMS could have picked that up themselves. We called the nursing home. An employee called the CMS numbers laughable and confirmed the nursing home had 16 COVID deaths, which matches the data provided by the state of New Jersey, again showing 16 and not 753 COVID-19 deaths. How quickly do you see the demise of someone with COVID-19? Less than 24 hours. They work at Life Care Center of Kirkland. Media across the country cover the COVID-19 deaths at the Life Care Center of Kirkland. Kirkland, Washington. But according to CMS, that nursing home had zero coronavirus deaths. Even though it's been well publicized, 37 people died there. In fact, CMS itself sanctioned Life Care Center for having a number of serious problems and how the facility handled the outbreak. Yet CMS's own data release has inaccurate numbers for the nursing home's COVID deaths. It, CMS needs to do a better job in the future to, to make yeah. sure these numbers are accurate. Absolutely. But there's only so much they can do, okay? So they are reliant upon the nursing home. We analyzed nursing home deaths in six states, comparing numbers supplied by state governments to the CMS data. In each state, we found huge disparities. In some cases, the CMS numbers were low. In hard-hit Doherty County, Georgia, state data shows Pruitt Health Palmyra reported 22 resident deaths from COVID. CMS data shows none. In fact, when we compared nearly 250 Georgia facilities listed by both the state and CMS, we found 502 COVID-19 deaths in the CMS numbers. But the state has the count at 872. The CMS administrator called this data set unprecedented data gathering, but it's clear what was reported out isn't accurate.